So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic profanity filter using HTML5 and JavaScript. So first of all, inside of the body right here, I'm going to create a form. So let's do that. So form, and I'm going to say action. So action, it should open like a file or something, but I can just type in google.com. So HTTPS colon www.google.com just like that so it will open google and the method that i'm going to use is going to be post all right and from here i'm going to use another attribute called on submit so whenever somebody submits this form i want a function to run so i'm going to say the return so return so return just like that so return and I'm going to call that function val to validate and I'm going to open my form just like that so I have created this basic form all right so uh, next what I'm going to do inside of the form I'm going to have an input field so I can say let me just open a paragraph here and inside of that paragraph what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in name then I'm going to go to the next line and I'm going to say input type so input type so this should be text and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it an ID of name so ID is name, just like that. And I want to go to the next line. So actually I want to go to the next line. And from here, I'm going to go out of this paragraph. So I'm going to keep it like that. And right below it, I'm going to have an input field. So let me just, uh, well actually let me place the input field inside of that paragraph. So I can just say uh, input, just like that. So input type. This one will be a button. It will be a submit button. So I'm just going to say type submit. And name will be submit. So name submit. And ID will be. will be the same I'm going to actually I'm going to say um, submit 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 just like that so just like that and I'm going to have a value there so I'm going to say so value should be I don't know something like send mail maybe send mail and I'm going to close it all right there you go so this should be the end of it all right so let me save it and review let's see how let's view it so let's see how it looks like so now as you notice i have this form and whenever i click on set mail it's it opens this page i know it's a it's a broken page but it it goes i mean no matter what i type in here if I click on submit it will just process it so this is not what we want we want to stop it if somebody says a specific thing for example like F word or something like that so we have done that now below the form what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a script so I'm going to type in script just like that and I'm going to end it just like that so I have my script right here and here inside of it I'm going to say function so I'm going to create a function and I'm going to say val just so you remember when I uh, uh, created right here so when I click on that it's going to run this function so it's going to run this one open two parentheses and I'm going to open a curly brace just like that I'm going to keep the ending like that because I'm going to type some code 
So now I'm, I can say uh, num. So let's put num there. All right, num equals to, or actually I can say name. So name equals to document dot get element by ID and open two parentheses and just type in name then I'm going to say dot value because I'm going I want to retrieve the value of that input field so I just did that let's go to the next line and let's create an array so I'm going to say array all right array number so let's say so I can say array uh, So array name or array array names show you that so array names equals to and I'm going to type in some values here so uh, so let's do this all right so I have created these three values so I can just type in hey I don't know you can put anything you want right here or yo just like that and damn so these are the three profanity words that should not that should not be allowed so i'm going to say four i'm going to create a for loop uh just below it so i'm going to say four so four i equals zero just like that and i is less than array names array names dot length all right dot length say like that and we will need to iterate that so i plus plus just like that all right and then right below it i'm going to open a color brace just like that and i'm going to say if if so if array names so array names if array names and I'm going to open two of these and I'm going to say if array names equals to name all right so if it equals that I'm going to run this piece of code so I'm going to say alert so alert and i'm going to say you must not say that all right so i don't I have done that and right below it i can say return false because otherwise it will not stop it so i'm going to so i've done that let me close these so one and two and three so we have done that now if you put any of these it should stop it so let me save it and refresh it so if you look at the profanity uh, words that we have so it's hey so for example let me reload and type in hey so if I type in hey and I click on send mail it should say you must not say that I'm going to say okay so what if I put yo so yo if I just type in click on send mail it's it should say you must not say that all right so the third one that we have is damn so if I type in damn it will still say that all right but anything else anything else what do you type in for example if it's empty it will still work because we haven't done that yet so we will create that later all right so here's how you can create a basic profanity filter using arrays in javascript all right so i just used a full loop and an if statement right here and an array all right everybody i hope you have enjoyed this video 
and I'll see you guys in the upcoming videos. Bye-bye.